solving problems involving multiplication of decimals. Hello students, welcome back to my class. Today, we'll learn how to solve multiplication problems with decimals using a four-step method. Let's dive in. A bag store sells different kinds of bags. One day, it sold five bags at 329 pesos and 25 centavos each. How much was the total sale for the bags? Do you have any ideas on how to solve this problem? To solve this problem, we will use the four-step method. Step 1. Understand. There are two questions you need to ask yourself and think about. First, figure out what is being asked in the problem. In this case, we want to know the total sales for the bags. Next, identify the given data that will help you answer the question. Here, the given data is the sale of 5 bags at 329 pesos and 25 centavos each. Step 2. Plan. Now think about how to solve it based on the given data. We know that there are 5 bags sold at 329 pesos 25 centavos each and we are figuring out the total sales for the bags from this illustration we can plan to add all the cost of each bag or simply multiply the number of bags by the cost of each bag which gives us the number sentence 329.25 pesos times 5 equals n where n is the total sales now that we have our plan let's proceed to step 3 Solve. Let's multiply 329.25 by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Let's write 5 and carry 2. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Let's write 2 here and carry 1. 5 times 9 is 45 plus 1 is 46. Let's write 6 and carry 4. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 which is 14. Let's write 4 and carry 1. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16. Let's put the decimal point. There you go. Therefore, the total sale for the bag sold was 1,646 pesos and 25 centavos. Now, let's go to our step 4, which is to check and look back. Well, this step is optional but helpful to check if our answer is correct. You may use the opposite operation when checking or looking back. In this case, let's divide the total sales which is 1646.25 by 5 bags to check if we get the cost per bag, and that is 329.25 pesos. Since it matches, then our answer is correct. Another strategy would be using estimation. We can estimate the numbers before multiplying. 329.25 rounded off is 329, since 2 is less than 5. While 5 remains the same since it's already a whole number. Let's multiply. 329 times 5 is 1,645 which is close to our answer earlier. This means our answer is correct. Great job, students! Now, here are the things that you learned today.